the first place to listen to the hottest K-pop. K-popping with DJ Isak. It's time for two of the JJCC members, Prince Mac and Eddie, to battle it out for our ultimate vote, and we have them in the studio. Hi, guys! Two Z. Hey, yo, Peter M. Prince Mac and Meda. Hi! We're back again. We're Okay. <laughs> you two seem to be in a very good mood. Yes, we're always in a good mood when we come in to see you, Nana. Aw, you're so sweet. But Prince, I I love whenever you say these sweet uh, messages, but I do fear yeah, your they're, fans. They're, <laughs> no, they're, if if they love me, then I love you, Nana. That's Aww. how it works. We're all family. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so uh, for today, we're actually going to keep uh, both of you quite happy because we're going to be talking about some female celebrities. Oh. oh. It's a very cute female celebrity oh. for today. Oh, okay. For our okay. ultimate vote. Yes. Yes. Um, I know that, Eddie, you yourself have been auditioning a lot these days for uh, some dramas and movies yes. and whatnot. Mm. Um, I know that, Prince, you've also uh, voiced that you are interested in acting as well. Yes, so, I graduated in acting. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, when it comes to singers and a lot of our idols uh, debuting or crossing over into the acting scene is something that's not unusual anymore. Mm. I know that there was a time where it was considered unusual or it was considered uh, trespassing almost, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Um, But I know that these days it's kind of a must for a lot of the celebrities and uh, it's a new way to express yourself. So today we're going to be looking at two artists that have done this quite successfully and they are two uh, power vocals from teams. So who's in charge of who for today? Who wants to go first? I'm in charge of uh, Kang Min Kyung of Da Vinci. Okay. Heady, heady, head. Yes. Our girls oh. day, Heady. Oh. Hey. I've, I've actually rooted for Heady a few times. Yes. On yes. K-pop. <laughs> so you it's have. kind of weird yes. for me to, to go against Heady now. Mm-hmm. It, it, I, 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 I can I, see that. I think I have so much look, on she my is mind not, about Hedy. I know so much about Hedy. She is not Hedy anymore. She is j- just Song Dok Sun now. <laughs> True. I'm in love with that drama. Me too. I'm uh, always, I'm waiting for the week weekends because of that drama. Me too. I just, I just love it. It is so I, I, fun. I love all of them actually. I mean, all of the. the, the uh, have, have you started watching uh, uh, 1988? No, no, I, I want to watch the ones before first. There's no need. It's a whole, completely it's different. Completely different. Yeah, it's completely different. I, I, know, I know. I know. The characters are different. The, the stories are completely different. Mm. Just watch this one. You will fall in love instantly. I was like, yeah, how fun can it be? And I started watching it, and then I was like, oh, it's okay. Oh, okay. We'll, because we'll I have a lot week. of um, Susie dramas and movies I have to c- catch, catch up, up with. with. Catch up with first. Okay. Before I move on to him. Well, when it comes to the Reply series, though, it is a little bit of a faster watch, I mm. think. Like, um, you don't necessarily have to be completely glued to the screen, mm. if you know what I mean. Okay. So you don't have to constantly put 110% of your uh, attention to the drama mm. to actually follow it. It's pretty easy following. Like the storylines, it's not, um, you know, it's not like three people like in a love triangle. Like mm. it's none of that stuff. It's very just plain, easy, typical drama stuff. Mm. It's like, uh, in short, you could just think of it as a drama, half drama, half sitcom. Yeah. No, oh, that's fun. There's a lot of comedy like sides to it. Oh. But yeah, there's a lot of comical sides but to it. I almost cried a lot. No, with the Almost. Reply series, wow. uh, in 97 and 94, not a lot of teary moments, honestly. It was mm. more about the love line and, you know, that fluttery feeling and yes. whatnot. But this one, the 88... <gasps> every week. Every... No, almost... Ev- no, every episode, yes. almost. Like, there's at least one tear-jerking moment. But it's like, what I love about it is it's not actually forcing. It's not... Oh, like- yeah. It's it's a it's it's like a part where, I think almost everyone who's over um the age of twenty or mm. actually uh, over the age of fifteen will 
actually feel what they're feeling. And since the actors are so good, it's mm-hmm. just... It just mm-hmm. So you guys are talking about because I haven't seen it, so I don't know much. But for me, I'm more of a person who, if I was to watch a drama, I like to watch it all of... In one sitting, in, in, yeah, in what in like you know three four days and finish it. I don't know. Because I, I don't like I don't like waiting. So maybe I like I want, waiting. I want you know, the replace nineteen ninety nineteen eighty eight. Sorry, mm. yes. to finish before mm. I start watching it. Okay, well it's fair enough. I know that there's very different people. Sure, sure. I know that, that like to. It's very hard. You know, you're waiting to like, wait. Oh no! I yeah. think with um, I hate waiting as well, and that it's that's why it's very hard for me to actually watch a drama. I think I'm in between both of you when it comes mm. to watching dramas. But um, I think it's just what I'm watching. For the Reply series right now, I don't mind waiting because right now they're also re-airing a lot of the episodes constantly. So uh, it doesn't really necessarily feel like I'm waiting an mm. entire week because mm-hmm. there's a lot of reruns on the, the, the channel. So throughout the week if I'm just kind of flipping through the channels it'll probably show the rerun of what I watched last week of like the Reply episode one just once a week twice twice a week and so it's a Friday yeah. Saturday drama and so I would like to take this opportunity, opportunity to say time. sorry to Simba because um, I would scream a lot and you know <laughs> like you know be very happy and energetic while watching Hedy act and okay Simba would be like Hyung go to sleep <laughs> it's 2 in the morning like wait <laughs> it's not over yeah. it's 21 minutes hold on that's why he's tired every morning <laughs> okay so uh, who wants to start we're talking about uh, Hedy today and Kang Mingyong so mm-hmm. who wants to start Prince or I'll, I'll, no, I'll just say uh, Prince, you know, I really want to do this Guy by Bo well, you want so Ooh, one of the first you ones want. so you start oh okay well there's nothing really to say because you know Hedy has been coming out on Ultimate Vote a lot mm. a very lot lot mm-hmm. and we've said a lot about her mm-hmm. and I think we yeah. voted for her at least once or twice each mm-hmm. she is just in short the hottest issue these days that's why she's just coming out on all the, almost all the votes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she's been out like I think four times in mm-hmm. the past uh, couple months yeah you know, she came out as a cute, the cute girl. You know, when she went to um, uh, real, real man, uh, women's edition, mm-hmm. um, acting, mm-hmm. uh, how do you say, um, commercials, cosmetics. She's she's everywhere near our neighborhood. You can see her pictures everywhere. You go on your phone, you look at an app, you can see her on her app. I don't. Know, she's just everywhere these days. She's I think the the mo- the next hottest star mm. after Susie. When mm. Susie first um, became really famous, I think Hedy just taking over that spot now. Okay, is what I think. Okay, uh, I think for me, Kamingo has always been uh, a singer to me. Okay, for mm. me, she was a uh, you know member of uh, one of the what, what, what I think one of the greatest duos, mm-hmm. um, Da Vinci, mm-hmm. and um, you know people know Da Vinci as being great singers. Oh yeah, but did you know that Kam uh, Kamingo was actually. Uh, Known for her beauty before she became a singer. Yes, she was. She, she was old Jung. Mm-hmm. Like she had her own fan base. Yes, she had a fan cafe mm-hmm. just for her beauty. It wasn't for her singing and stuff. You know, people didn't really actually know that she could sing mm-hmm. and everything. So she already had like this kind of established fan base. Yeah, my, my one of my friends were uh, <laughs> one of the fans. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> yeah, she she. Oh my god! Yes, but... I must say, like you know, when I first heard the Vichy songs, I was like, oh, these these they're, they're great singers. That was all to me. You know? mm. I, didn't, I didn't actually see how they looked like. Mm. But once I got to uh, know the Vichy more, I mean, I don't know them like when I saw them on TV. Uh-huh. You know, I did my, uh, some research on them. Oh, these girls are actually like they're really good looking. Oh, know? of course. Uh, Coming wasn't just uh, she. You know, she's got she can sing. You know, she's got the look. She got the body, and now she's going into acting. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say her acting is you know really great right now because she was actually criticized. Mm. For um, her acting when she first came out, okay. for, to some to some dinosaur, mm. some <laughs> pterodactyl, and I, you know, I was I was like, well, because it was written here as, as a pterosaur. Mm. I was like, what's a pterosaur? And I was like, is that is that a dinosaur? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Eddie, Eddie, why would someone be compared to a dinosaur? Uh, and I was like, hold on and a then, second. I looked at it. I was like, yeah, was like yes, uh, a dinosaur. She screamed like a pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah, in, in one of her uh, dramas. I think so. And she was like criticized really badly and stuff like that. And so she took a break after that. Mm-hmm. I think. Mm. And but then I was also one asking Eddie, how do people know what a pterodactyl sounds like? And then he asked me, how do you know what a um, uh, like a T Rex would sound like? Mm. You know, because these, it, it these could be dinosaurs like, like two. Mm. 2,000, like, well, thousands, thousands. I don't know how long has dinosaurs been. Like, 10,000? There's, there's stuff online that 
the sounds that we hear in Jurassic Park are actually like mating sounds. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. like other animals. Yeah, they're like lion mixed with uh, elephant yeah, mixed yeah. with. Uh, like turtles. Don't they don't know what like, these dinosaurs. Yeah. I actually researched it. They don't know what these dinosaurs actually sound like. Oh, of course. Uh, because uh, they only guessing. have bones. Oh yeah. yeah it's not like they have oh, we're vocal just, cords. We're just trying to. Yeah figure out what yeah. it would be like I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering like a T-Rex could just maybe T-Rex goes oink oink yeah, yeah, you never know like, gong, gong, gong. yeah you never oh, know hello maybe, 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 yeah, you maybe. never know but maybe the T-Rex mm. goes daddy 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 yeah. <laughs> got it from my dad <laughs> daddy 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 <laughs> I can't believe I lost last week <laughs> yeah but, <laughs> so but yeah I mean when it comes but when it comes to Kang Mingyong I think that her herself if you see her sing if you see her in interviews and uh, when she was criticized for her acting what I saw or what I felt from it was it wasn't necessarily her acting that was mm. something that needed to be criticized I think it's just her personality she doesn't seem to be that much of an like a flamboyant type of a person. Mm. She seems very reserved. She seems very quiet. She seems very just well put together, so to speak. Mm. Like, w even when she sings high notes, you never really see her, like, move her face that much, I'd have to say. Mm, so uh, the plus <clears throat> side is, is she's very relaxed when she sings. But she just seems like a very reserved person. I, I don't think I would think of her as somebody who would, like, jump around and, like, you know, scream in the middle of nowhere. So I think that the acting that we see and stuff that people are criticizing that might be awkward is just her personality and her trying to break that comfort zone. And so that's why it's kind of awkward for her right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And so that's why maybe <clears throat> somebody else perceives that as something that's a little bit more awkward and as I well. Think, I think that for us, too, when we first debuted, we were that very mysterious type idol group, I guess. And it was very hard for us because we're very energetic and mm -hmm. we love to fool around. We love to, you know, run around, mm -hmm. do some weird stuff. But, yeah, I, I think I think in time, she'll get better. Yeah. And actually, we have a lot of, um, how do you say, um, we... We didn't actually work with her, but we worked work with her. There was um a commercial where she had to do a dance, and our dance teacher made us do um shoot the uh how do you say the demo? Da dance, the, demo the demo, yes, you remember? Yes. Yes, and she was the main uh, person for that commercial. I did not know that, but okay. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So I think that so, yes, her herself, like she's coming. just a very reserved person. Mm. That's why we need to kind of give her some time to kind of break mm. out of her shell. Whereas well, we know Hetty as she's the youngest of Girls Day. We always know her as this more cute, flamboyant, cute, mm. very free willed type of a individual. Mm. So I think that's why it's able to kind of pull out in mm. this new well, drama well, she's in. Coming from, she did take a break for three years. Mm -hmm. So now she came back, you know, um, I think her acting must have improved in three years. Now. Oh, yeah. So it has. It's, it's three years is a long time. You know, if, and she's been working hard <clears throat> on it. I've been hearing yeah. from insiders that she's and really been working on it. Now her. I think she's starting something called Trigo Yongi. Trigo Yongi. And uh, I think it's going to get some good ratings. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, uh, it looks like that our talk of the Reply series and everything, we already are time for a song break. Oh, wow. Wow. So we... Yes, we, Reply awesome. 1988. Vote for Hedy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so today, for those of you who are a little confused, we are talking a lot about dramas, but uh, it looks like that Eddie and Prince are representing Kang Mingyong and uh, Hedy. So we are going to be looking at these songstresses mm -hmm. that have turned into actresses. The penalty for this uh, oh, week no. is going to be something quite fun. I know that you two love to have fun and you have very yes. flamboyant personalities. Wait. <laughs> so, wait, wait. so the penalty is something that we're going to have you guys do after the show. So it's not going to mm. be doing done during the show. We were okay. going to have you guys post it after the show is done. Okay. Um, a lot of our foreign listeners are actually taking this uh, phrase and they're using it for the phrase that it is. Morajuki pictures. Uh, yeah. So uh, the direct translation for it, for those of our listeners who are brand new to the K-pop world, it's a visual boost. So pretty much one of the person or one of the people in the picture is going to look very purdy and the rest of the people around them are going to be making derpy, very ugly faces uh, to make sure that that person has an image boost. That is what these Morajugi pictures are 
talked about. So, we'll give you the choice of waiting until you meet up with your members mm -hmm. to take it all together, uh -huh. or it can be just the two of you. That is going to be your choice. Let's go all members, why not? We're okay, so oh. we'll wait for all the members to join the picture. <laughs> okay. So, that is what's going to happen for... Okay. That sounds fun. Mm. The team today. So uh, keep that in mind for your votes. And what we're going to do is uh, take a listen to uh, Tabichi's track to start us off with Moment, Isungan, followed by Girls Day with Ring My Bell. And we'll see you guys back after this with more of their arguments. Ring, 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 my bell. Ring! <laughs> <laughs> ring! Okay, so we've got Eddie and Hello. Prince Mac in the studio ring, of ring. JJCC. And uh, they are representing two singers turned actresses mm. that are quite popular oh, these yes. days. Hedy and Song Dok Sun. Yeah, Hedy <laughs> and <laughs> Kang Min Kyung. Yes. So we were having Prince explain that she's uh, Kang Min Kyung is back after a three-year hiatus and she's doing pretty well uh, with the new drama that she's in. So uh, since we talked about that, now we're going to be moving on for Eddie's argument about yes. Hedy. Um, actually, well, as everyone knows, Hedy, when she first started acting, she did not that get, uh, get that much good reviews. Yeah, the drama she was in before didn't get a lot of good reviews. Mm. Maybe it was because of the topic? I, the topic, and I think the character didn't really fit her at that time. Yeah, I mean, when I first saw her on the heel of her Real Men mm. hit, like, you know, her popularity, I was really excited that she was entering the acting field mm. and starring in that drama. Um, I like the concept. I think it was just, uh, it was kind of hard to follow. It kind of felt like an after school, very Disney, Nickelodeon type of a, don't really look at acting type mm. of a, a sitcom type mm, of drama. Yeah. I think that that's what they try to go for. But because it was in a time slot that was supposed to be more serious. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know what I mean? Mm. I think it was just like. It didn't really match, like the storyline and the sure. timing of the drama itself and the whole... I don't think that <clears> they <throat> thought about who their audience was going to be. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yes. are they targeting teens? Or are they targeting, like, you know, like 20, 30-year-olds? Or are mm. they targeting, like, the whole family? I think that they were not quite precise with that. Uh, yeah, and that's why it kind of just blew up in the air. That's true. And because of that, when she... Uh, it, it came on the news that she would be the main character from um, Reply 1988. There were a lot of bad reviews. Oh, and, yes. Uh, they miscast it, you know. And when she first started, when she first started, it wasn't that well as I thought it would be. And people would, be, would say, you know, she's overacting too much. Or her face seems, you know, um, awkward. Awkward. Did she get surgery? And she had a lot of bad reviews. But now, ask anyone how's what do you think how, how's Hedy's acting like she's awesome mm. the, the drama itself is awesome she's awesome and but I think the main reason why her acting got so much better is because of the actors around her well that and I think when it comes to the reply series you really have to give props to the writing team and the production team because I myself didn't want to see reply 1997 because of the cast. Mm. As soon as I read the article that Jung Eun-ji, Song in gook Hoya, and all these K-pop singers mm. were going into be one drama, I was like, ooh, too much. <laughs> too much. We need some actors in here. Mm. Um, and I was worried that they were going to not be able to deliver. But I think the production team has a way of really putting the character into that individual mm. and kind of bringing it out of them true uh, it, it's just like Susie um, when she first started in Dream High mm -hmm. um, she, her acting was really not that good a lot of people were I think it just her character didn't mm. fit her but after she being started being mean and like mm. all like you know sassy and true true but after she started um uh, doing more scenes with Kim Soo-yeon mm. who was actually a very good actor and at that time he was not he was actually pretty good mm, even though he was a rookie I think the person who you act with if they're really good it just helps you it helps you act more natural and more comfortable is yeah, what I if, think. if somebody's able to lead you in the the scene I think mm. it, it does help and in reply 1988 all the there's four four guys around her actually five wait, hold on. four four yes Four, four best friends. Mm. Four best friends around her. And the chemistry is awesome. Like, Well, those actors have been around for so long, too. Yes. 
All right. So uh, with that in mind, since I know probably a lot of our listeners are mm. kind of following in Prince's footsteps right now, they're waiting until the reply series ends. Mm. So I hope that we're not giving any spoilers. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not. We're not. We haven't said anything about the storyline. So uh, if you're waiting for uh, to see, you know, the drama once it ends, you probably have only been seeing stills or maybe short clips of uh, Hedy's performance recently. But yes, the mass in Korea does agree that she, her acting skills have gotten better. So let's go back to Kang Min Young and. And uh, give Prince a chance yeah, to uh, talk uh, about her. For coming Girl, like I mentioned, she took a three-year break. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, she has been doing musicals as well. Mm. She did a musical and there are actually tickets actually sold quite well. Okay. And the musicals, it's not just about singing. There's, there's acting as well. Oh, yeah. So you have to be able to sing and, and act, act and even possibly dance as well. If you're I doing think musicals. musical is the most hardest. Um, yeah. Hardest to do. I, mm. I think it's hard because it's all like no mistakes. Yeah, yeah. It's all yeah, live. Yeah. All know, live. Like, it's pretty much all live. There's no pre records Dance, sing, yeah. act. Wow, that's a lot. I think musical is probably one of the hardest. And because she, she sold her tickets sold really well in the musical she did, and she is also one of the highly sorted um, or faces for endorsements. Okay. As mm -hmm. well, uh, possibly because of you know how good she looks, and maybe because she's. Uh, Know, da Vici. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure like a lot of people know Da Vici songs. If oh you're, yeah. If you're I, if you're in Notre Dame, you always you know, end up singing a Da Vici song. I'd have to say, if in Korea, if all the guys that went to the army, they've oh, they are a fan of Kang Mi Young. Oh yeah. It's a hundred percent, you know. And um, because like I said, um, she has been sought out for a lot of um, like endorsements and stuff. Uh huh. Um, for me, I think. I have seen a lot of her ads and commercials before, but I never knew it was her. Okay. I never knew it was coming. I always just thought she's just a, uh, oh, it's just a pretty girl, and who is it? You know, this and that. And then I find out, oh, she's Davici. I was actually quite shocked um, when I when I knew that she was uh, you know, part of Davici, because I think for a few of the Davici music videos that I've seen, they, they didn't actually come out in the music video. They mm. had like other actresses or actors inside the music video, mm -hmm. and I think coming on. She is someone that I would say keep an eye on in the acting industry because this new... I had a look for it. Her, her new drama is called Best Lover. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that uh, she has been working very hard on because she took a three-year hiatus. I think in three years, a lot of changes could be made. So oh, yeah. I really, I really um, quite confident that she'll do a good job this time. Well, not only that, like we were talking about with Suji and all that, I think that everybody has that role that they can feel comfortable enough to, you know, make themselves transform into that character. Mm, um, like we were talking about earlier with uh, Suji's character. In the drama Dream High, she becomes nicer. Yes. As she starts teaming up with Kim Soo-yeon's character. Yes, yes. So I think that for Suji herself, she's just more comfortable with being a nicer character instead of being a sassy, mean girl. I think, same as me, I think I'm a very nice, outgoing kind of guy who always likes to play around. So to all the directors out there, if you need... I knew a that was coming. I knew that was need, coming. If you need, how many times he said if it you on need show? a role, I need a role. Give me a role. I will Prince, show you. What kind, of, what kind of role would you like to play? I've always wanted to play like a superhero role. Oh yeah, you said this before. Yeah, I, I really, really like to be a superhero. I, but I think that's down the line. That's, I know, know in real life later, it's not going to happen, but uh, maybe on the screen I could be a superhero. To, no, to other directors, if you need a guy walking down the street, just call me. <laughs> I will start from the bottom. <laughs> no, I will start from the bottom. Please, give and me a chance. While this happens, um, his manager is like, Walking out the door right now yeah. out of the street. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta start somewhere. That, that is something different from Korea and China. So it's China, for a lot of stuff, you don't really need to audition. Kind of like in Korea, in in mm. China, they look at your, your profile and stuff like that. If they like you, they'll they'll call you. And they'll probably just have like three candidates. Oh. Three, four candidates, and they'll, they'll just talk to you. They don't, they don't like really give you a script and say act it out and stuff like. That. Oh, but, interesting. But there is one thing that they look look at a lot in China is what school you graduated from, what acting school you graduated from. That's pretty big, I hear. Like the mm. martial arts schools and yeah. stuff like that in China. I hear those are really big, and like what school you're. They, they really trust the school that you come from. Oh, I bet. Yeah. 
Um, I know that there's a couple of schools in LA that if you graduated there, uh, depending on which course you took, like they kind of actually just trust that. Mm. But even now, the when I went back to the states to study acting, uh, it's very different than Korea. Like in Korea, when you sit down for an acting gig, mm. uh, most of the acting gigs that I've gone to, even the open auditions, you go in. You don't even say your name. They just like give us what you need to do, and like you say the couple of lines, and then that's it. But in the states, they give you. They say, "Okay, slate," and so slate means you give your bio to them. Like, mm. hi, my name is yeah. what I'm. How old? <clears throat> I'm this nationality. I'm auditioning for this role. Here I go. That kind of stuff. So they give you give your own like oh like minute introduction or something. Like, oh, like, my name is. Edward O. I am. Uh, so I can't say my age right now, but I am one seventy seven <laughs> high, sixty five kilograms. Uh, I majored in um, stunt and acting, and I can do scuba, ride horses, and That's repel. Too long. So please watch out for me. My name is Eddie. Talk to <laughs> directors. I just give you a cell phone. Call me. It's too long. It's too long. <laughs> okay. Sorry. okay. Mm. Um, anything else? Because we're get, we're coming into the last thirty seconds. So uh, Prince uh, give me and 30 Eddie. Thirty seconds to introduce myself. No! Hi guys, I'm Prince Mac from Australia. To I talk about Chinese. Kang Min Gyeong no, and Hedy. Oh, Hedy, I think just with the recent drama, not only her acting, but the, the people around her, the, especially the parents, they've been on... They're, they're just the best. I just love their acting. It, it looks like I'm looking at my own mom and dad. Yeah. They're fighting. They're they're um cute love scenes. They're mm. um how do you say the cooking scenes? It mm. seems so real. Mm. I, I just have to give them. They are like a really big part of that drama. Yeah, mm. Mo- which is uh, not so much about Reply 1994 and 97. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'd Chris. like to say something. Just giving a little bit of support to these uh, singer turned actors. You know? Okay. Not uh, maybe it to. Uh, coming going if she's look, she's she's listening right now you know everyone starts off you know not so well mm-hmm. what was it Yuk Sung Jae Susie Ek Ek and they, they didn't start off that great but then they ended up doing really well now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and even Harry is a good example okay uh, so I uh, please look forward to uh, coming going's new drama uh, Best Lover and I think she will do really well because I'm really confident in her okay yes, she she is coming girl I think nobody can. Replace her. I, right. I think Harry could. <laughs> no, Harry's right. good too. I really like Harry. So but. continue to send in your votes for these two. Uh, again, today uh, we're actually going to hold this until the end of the show. We're going to try and bring as many votes as uh, possible. So remember that. But let's take another quick song break before we come back. And then uh, we are going to talk a little bit more about these two uh, celebrities. Girls Day is going to be singing Darling, followed by Tabichi and Mad Clown on the track with two lovers, two sarang. And we'll see you guys back after this with Eddie and Prince in the studio. Well, for Eddie, my darlings. My darlings. All right, with that, we've got Eddie and Prince Mac in the studio. Now, today yes. we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to have our listeners send in more votes until the end of the show. Oh. And then we're going to be announcing who the uh, winning team was. And then we're going to have these two post online for us. Who the winner and loser was. Visual oh. boost. So remember, today is visual boost, the Borajugi pictures. So get ready for it. And they decided that they're going to uh, team in with all the members. So we're probably going to be getting in a little bit after the uh, show ends. Yeah. So uh, because of that, normally we give this time to uh, announce the <clears throat> winner mm-hmm. and then you know make you guys do the penalty. Okay. But uh, it's currently at the 50 minute mark and we've got about two minutes left. So I'm going to let you guys have about a minute. About 45 seconds to a minute to say your last arguments before we say goodbye today. Mm, well, for starters, I love you guys. Um, oh, we're playing this card now. Um, I lost last week and I had to drink a very uh, uh, delicious... Uh, what was that? A last fish week? cocktail. Fish sauce cocktail with so cola. What? Oh, <laughs> It was really... <laughs> Ew. Fish like, sauce Even right now, cola? I'm drinking... I'm drinking coffee right now, but it tastes like fish sauce because of last week. <laughs> because of last week. What did you put inside? This? Come on, guys. Save the Eddie, please. No more Forget fish sauce. It, Come on. Okay. I've, I've, had, I, I, I've had that wig on for like three weeks now. Okay. No. So I've friends. had it on as well. See, I, I have enough stupid photos on my SNS. You don't want to see any more. So if you want to see more stupid photos of Eddie, then vote well, for Well, that's Prince. true. 
we always see Eddie very, you know, clean cut and looking all party and, you know, well, shooting all these nice pictures. It. There you go, guys. There you go. I don't know. So my if, you wanna, say, if you want to see a different side of Eddie, then even my fans Prince. tell me, Opa, you cannot take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know, okay? Just learn to live with it. I'm sorry. Look, I'm really bad Prince at wins, taking I'll selfies. I'll help you guys out. I'll, I'll make sure it's a, it's a satisfying no, picture. But if you, you go to Prince's um, Instagram. Forget it. He looks. Uh, there's not a funny picture in his. There Instagram. is. There's a lot. I have me doing like the nay nay and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're all doing the nay nay. Okay. Don't worry, man. I will see old McDonald had a farm. But but last, just vote for Eddie. <laughs> That's oh, all you gotta do. Vote for Eddie. And to all the directors out there, call us. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully, we can see these two on the big screen. Uh, all right. Reply well, 2002. Let's go. 2002. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's not do that. Oh, reply <laughs> 2015. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, honestly, after seeing their stage performance of this, I've been hooked on this track. I've already liked the song, but the choreography is amazing, too. We're going to close today with JJCC's track, Premium Sing, Insomnia Version oh. 2. Oh, wow. And uh, we're going to see you guys next week. Uh, bye bye. Call the 911. Girl, I can't sleep tonight. You know, you know, that